it's okay. We're in the it's building. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. put it up there. Put Hold it on, it's okay. to the right of good. We're good. It. We're good. We're good. How you doing, people? Welcome back. This is the Game Plan Podcast. Yeah. I'm your man, Division, and I'm going to navigate through what we hope <laughs> will not be the Lee Ice Show. So coming up first, over there, very pastel, moving side to side, looking like an emoji. I'm just trying to get in the screen. Well, you got to scoot over. So yeah, Lee Ice. I you don't, the don't make the st- you, Lee Ice, don't make the studio I, conform to you. I'm close to it's easier for you to conform. That's fine. Your shoulders are shoulders. You are in a good place right people, now. People, that is there Lee Ice. people dying to be in that position. <laughs> Brother, would you mind being a cameraman for me? It's kind of weird me looking like this. It's oh, like a late night, you, um, oh, oh, okay, you know, yeah. uh, what's that called? Where you swipe right or left? Tinder. <laughs> Tinder? Is it Tinder? What is Something. it? What do you want to do? No, no, we good. We good. I'm straight. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm good. Okay. Well, we have Lee Ice. Lee Ice, say what's up to the people. What's up, people? All right. Short and sweet and to the point. Next to Lee Ice uh, on her muff tuffet. Is it if it's... <laughs> I don't know what else. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, y'all. That's me. On her tuffet, it's going? Little Miss Muffet, <laughs> affectionately known as MoCo. Wow. Give it up for Ray LeBay. Ray, just, you got to own it at this point, dog. You know, and I do own it, but yeah. the way you guys come for me is just like... I have now, I want to... let. This is Coach. Thank you, Coach, for coming through. <laughs> Justy Rose um, is held up. They're putting reflective tape on him because it's getting darker sooner. So, Ray, 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 yes. we're going to get into this. This was an unforeseen subject, but I, I do love my co-host somewhat. And, I, and when they're feeling pain, I feel what? pain or I want to exploit the pain. <laughs> and Ray mentioned to us that she feels that this is the guy show. That we over talk her and overwhelm her and she doesn't get her points out. So Ray? that was just last week, but... Oh, wow. I, I've, I've been doing a good job at holding. You know myself and the ladies down. I just felt like I wasn't, I didn't have much to say last week. I so missed now, you last week, Ray, I, so know, I, I agree I, with you. I, you know, I agree like, with you. I blame it on Rosé. I do. Yeah, well, Rosé here is just dark. And nobody <laughs> it was a is blackout. that what it was? He, he was a Ray Little people. Bay blackout. That's it, what happened when he was he, he was on a mission. I think I can agree to that. Well, when you show up once a year, okay, <laughs> we call him Haley's Comet or dark. the Eclipse. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Comes around every now and again, but it is memorable. And overshadows now, And again, we, we, we jest at Rose's mm-hmm. expense because it's fun. However, he is coaching, helping the children out. He's yes. out in very excessive heat, and he's very dark. So <laughs> he is he is sacrificing. Okay. So let's not talk he about He loves him. coaching people his, his size. <laughs> Lee Ice is alluding to the fact that Rose has a 22 inseam. Okay. <laughs> Length. <laughs> and a 40 width. Okay. <laughs> But we love him. But we got coach in the house. What's up, coach? Coach. I'm chilling, man. What's up with you? What is it, like chilling. three, four weeks strong now? I know, right? Yeah. That's that's a lot. This man, Gorilla. What's keeping you? Coach. You Excuse know what I'm saying? So what's been keeping you? Life. Life's oh. keeping me. <laughs> keeping the you free? New England Patriots ain't got nothing on us. We got our own Belichick. And where did that come from? I'm just, came coach from Belichick. Heart. <laughs> yeah. heart. Of course, of course. And I, and and we jest, but again, coach, we 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 do... Have a good time with you. We think you bring a lot to the show, and we love it. We That's love great. it. We love it. So That's great. Let's get right into it. We're going to start the show off this week with the sports slice, surprisingly. Really? And okay. that's not because Lee Ice gets more buzzed as the show goes on. That's just because our breaking news coincides with the sports world. Lee Ice. <sighs> Yo. Jay-Z. <sighs> tell the people, Lee Ice. Tell the people. Okay, I'm going to try to keep my personal feelings out of it. That's good. And learn how to say personal. <laughs> didn't I say personal? Personal. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you did. I just, Lee Ice, please. Go ahead, continue. Don't stop with me. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to get my personal feelings out of this. Did I say it right that time? Go anyway. ahead. We're just going to move on. Okay, he's collaborated with the NFL. Okay. And what and is he collaborating? They want to get together oh. to, as far as, you know, as players, they want to make a platform. Have a platform to speak about what the issue, what issues is bothering them, and a lot of people have an issue with this about okay. him collaborating with, with the NFL after you know, especially the, the Colin Kaepernick thing. You know, I personally, and I said I was going to try to keep my personal issues. I do have a major issue with him. Okay, you know, 
If you know me, you know I'm not a Jay-Z fan. I do respect the man. I do respect the brother. But dude, he's so phony, man. You talk all this bullshit about Cap, you know, like you're supporting him. Now you're going to collaborate with this idiot that's on the screen right now. Okay. Okay. Now. But you can't be surprised because he told you, what, about 14, 15 years ago? I'm not a businessman. I'm a business. I'm not black. Man. I'm Jay-Z. And he's doing this for his <laughs> damn business. He don't give a he damn saw an opportunity. about Colin Kaepernick. He don't give a damn about the issues what's really going on. Okay. It's all about him. Not mad at him. Make your money. Feed your family. Support your wife. Whatever. But don't stop all the phoniness. You see what okay. I'm saying? It's phony. He's phony. I'm okay. sorry. All right, so so before I, I tried I, to keep my person, but it, it had to come. I out. see. No, no. I, we we want to know how you really feel, and that's that's because how you feel is probably how a lot of people feel, and yeah, we need to right. work through this situation and kind of work through everyone's feelings because this is a very volatile subject. Ray, we would like to know where you stand. Do you understand? What I'm, I'm, I'm following with what you're saying. Because you're black, you're a woman. You I like feel like sports. he tried, he wants to put his hand. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> put his hands in like every pot that he can which you can't be mad at him for because that is something that he is clearly you know the music the business side of music uh football you know just sports period like you saw I, an opportunity and he it's the opportunity and he has the money and the platform to be a part of it so it's to him it's like well i have this status and i'm also a credible being you know so why mm-hmm. not try to see how far and how much i can go and you know into these pl- into these opportunities, I I, I, I almost can't blame him because he's almost like I'm gonna do what I can, right? But he's okay. a hypocrite. Hold on, hold on, and hold on. Let's go around the table. Ray, what did you have any more? No, that's basically okay. it. Okay, coach. He's a businessman. In business, you do what you got to do to keep going, move ahead. And apparently, he doesn't care if he's cutting down another man's life, as far as. Mm keeping the man down he's he he's looking past what happened he's trying he's thinking that he's doing the best for the black community but he's not the black community he's he's out so far paid outside of the black community he's not relating with the real social injustices interesting he's basically saying okay it happened let it go get over it it's about me making money hmm. now this again this is ba- this is coach summarizing how he felt jay-z was uh expressing his feelings yes lee ice and once again it takes away from the original of why colin what Kaepernick all this started was really from. kneeling for because no one is talking about that. nobody's talking about it again we're talking about jay-z which is genius, really, when you, you know think about saying? it. And businessman. Well, let's let's like go. Well, I keep well, saying, he's on. not before, a businessman. He's a business. Before we judge or do not judge or assume on Jay Z's part, let's look at the chain of events. So, black people were getting shot disproportionately, unarmed, um, for whatever reason. Now, if, if you are black, then you know that these are commonplace things that you deal with with authority figures. However, there's video now, so you do have a voice. Um, Cap knelt to bring attention to that issue. Um, there was a narrative sold that he was being unpatriotic. It became about the military and the flag and disrespecting. And the conversation shifted from what the problem was to now protest. Are you allowed to protest? How are you going to protest? And everyone forgot about that. Okay? Same thing now. Now, I got to play devil's advocate. We play it fair. Now, Cap did take a settlement. True. Yeah. Cap had all the power in the world. He had evidence, supposedly, allegedly, that he can prove collusion. He can show that they were keeping him out. They were picking up quarterbacks from the Dunkin' Donuts and and working at different places. One dude was actually begging for money, and he started on an NFL team. Started with the Redskins. (laughs) But, you know, all this was going on while Cap was a viable option. And Now, Cap did get invited to several training camps. Baltimore Ravens, he, he... Call Ray Rice a, slay, a house me. dude. Or, he would have never made the team. We, but what I'm saying is there were opportunities there, okay? So there's there's two sides. So is is it Jay-Z's responsibility to talk for Cap and Cap's not talking? No. 
But like um, the other gentleman that came out and talked about it, who was Lee Ice? Eric? Eric Reed. Came out and he spoke against it. He said yeah. it was despicable. It was just, it, really, um, it was. It was opportunistic. I, now, if, for, to give you some background, Jermaine Dupree was offered this position last year. Jay-Z convinced him, T.I., and a whole lot of other people not to participate in the Super Bowl because <laughs> yeah, of the NFL. Why. And then he turns around and signs with them. Now, the issue, and he also dogged Travis Scott out for deciding to, to perform. Yeah, I remember Now, the that. issue here is what has the NFL done different since last year that would make Jay-Z do a turnaround and say, okay, now we're going to work together. What was now we're past offered? that. How did they get – because the NFL wasn't the one shooting people, but the NFL was attacking the protesters and attacking their right to protest. And as we know, athletes who protest have led – since back in Muhammad Ali – the Olympics, they have led to social change. Even this protest, even though he is having a hard time working, which honestly, when you take a stand, that's what you're saying. I'm going to give my career up for this issue. Now, I think it did work where most white cops have this in the front of their head now. They're thinking about this at a stop. They're thinking about what's going on. So, so in a way, we got what you wanted. You know what I mean? Does, does Jay-Z have a responsibility to cap? That's the question. Did he use cap? Did he jump on? Maybe he. that's how he felt. But Cap did settle, and he signed a non-disclosure. He can't talk about it. So why would Jay have Cap at a NFL rally, NFL meeting, and he can't speak? Well, if you remember when, we, when, when Cap settled, and I, I talked about that, and I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> what I say? It's what know. you didn't say. We don't even know, man. <laughs> we, we don't even that's know what we don't know. Is, uh, <laughs> we've paged the thesaurus. Okay, I did uh -huh. talk about that, and I said, well, you know, I hope he didn't sell out. You know, that's another. But okay, let me let me rewind. All right. Let me. I'm gonna give Jay Z the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Let me see what happens moving forward. Okay. What did I say? Use time? smaller words. Benefit <laughs> out <laughs> of. Go ahead. Give. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. All right. Did I, was that that's good? good. That's good. So, but. Very large Up front, in. it doesn't look it doesn't look good with him. For you Jay, know what I'm saying for Jay, no, it don't. It really don't. Is it? I mean, but it's the the average layman now, can't understand a business there, move. That's so a business move. He needs move. to go up. Put your face up because the NFL was like, oh, we got the number one hip hop mogul in the game. No one's bigger than Jay Z. No one. Man. Oh, the he, NFL. And he's with up. Yeah, they 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 came off. So that, is he yeah. going to be used? Yes. There's, a, there's no black ownership in the NFL man whatsoever. To call him a house jigger. <laughs> he's he's going to use. He's going to be used as a house jigger, or he's going to be used properly like he should. There's going to oh. be mutual using. It's just who's going to be allowed to finish, and where are you going to finish? On the other person's face, on their back. That's we don't. I'm know. actually very curious to see how that's going to like work, yeah. like pan I'm out. I'm gonna give him the benefit. Of I that. think he's angling for ownership. I mean, Jay just crossed a oh, billion, so Jay is eventually. operating business on he's a level that a none team. of us can understand. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't think he'll own a team. I, he doesn't have the the, the financial. No, he will never own an NFL. Team. To, there would never be a black on NFL. No, not at all. No, never? not at all. Never. Ever. Never. Mm -mm. <laughs> I hate saying that, but it not, would not, never. I, I'm not going to say never, event, but never. eventually there Who? will be. We do have a Middle Eastern owner. What's his name? Khan? I don't what, know. what was Diddy trying to own? Was Oil. it a basketball team or Oil. was it a football yeah. team? He was just trying to own uh, several he players to come to his house. He owns the Jacksonville <laughs> Jaguars. He does? No, he ain't. He owns yeah, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. What's his name? Something Khan? They are 30, yeah. ranked 32nd as far as money. Oh, because they got a, a minority owner. He owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. He still Have you ever been something. to Jacksonville? No. <laughs> okay. I don't think anybody in Jacksonville has been to Jacksonville, personally. <laughs> they just get mail there. <laughs> well, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it, of course, we're, we're here. Uh, these reactions were what was meant to happen. That, and I think the NFL floated that ideal about him being an owner. They're not, no one's going to let him come in. Who, Jerry Jones? Who's going to let him in there? Now, from Jay's right. standpoint, let's, right. to play fair, maybe he's just, this, he saw a way to get in. Of course, there's a benefit to him, but you know maybe why? you got to get in to, to create some type of change. Someone has to get in. He's not a businessman. He's a, <coughs> he's a business. business. Yeah. 
Keep that in mind, people. And he's getting uglier, so he's got to make more money to keep Beyonce. You know so, what I'm saying? I was just looking at that picture. Oh, you already know. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Why you bring He got a billion, and Ray still will have a hard time smashing him. Uh, so that lets you know. Why you bring Beyonce up, man? No, you was, know I was mad coming in here because I heard her, yeah. her version of oh, the ice. Get, get, get over it, man. Get over it. Frankie yeah, Beverly's on oh, dialysis. Get over it. It doesn't matter. You messed up a good song, man. <laughs> what she song? did not mess it up. Before I Let Go. Oh, You I probably mean, don't. Even, have you no, ever I, heard the original? Don't do you it think, like you that. Think Into the mic, Lee Ice. Into the ice. Don't, don't do Lee it. Lee Ice. Yeah, the yeah, microphone. Yeah. What? Talk into it. No, he's not saying anything important. So go ahead and talking off the mic. Oh, now, real quick, she's cutting people today. Real quick, before we get into the what the fuck videos, she's cutting um, people. Did you see where they they told that counselor she had caveman feet? <laughs> that, um, that what's her name? Um, Congresswoman. Oh. oh. They said that. That's yeah, caveman feet. Look at them jokes. I seen worse. Yeah, I might have said her feet don't even look bad. I don't know. Go get a pedicure. I you, don't know. She can see she worse. sleep yeah. upside down. I mean, I, it doesn't I've look that clear on our end. At least her toes are painted. They Brain don't look are huge. Huh? Put your feet up. I, I Those are Neanderthal love. feet. What size, what size foot do you think that I'm going to do all that right is. now, but I have no that's problem. That's a double, <laughs> triple E. No, seriously. That's a nine I don't know. She shouldn't have. T- she shouldn't have had her feet out though. She could have went to Why? casino. Why? Her feet weren't that yeah, bad. Her feet weren't bad. Wasn't that bad? What okay. did you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wasn't that bad? Put her feet bad. back up. I, I know. I'm about to say. No. I really see nothing wrong. I don't with think the the the, the screen pic- can the, hold the all that clarity. weight. Those are big ugly feet. Up. Put her foot back up. Mega pixels. Come on. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> her feet are not that bad. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah. Remember Myra's feet on Mort on Martin? Gotta go to work on Myra's. No, sir. No, sir. Those are I don't know, those, can't see the those are ant eater feet. Nothing no. like Dang, they just kinda, she don't no. have a pinky toe. Ooh, she don't have a look pinky toe. Look at how hard you had to look to say something like that. She had free I don't think you had to look hard. She had a she had serious <laughs> feet issue. So let's go on to what the fuck. <laughs> We're gonna go on to the video portion. Ray LeBay is responsible <laughs> for Ray, all of these, these videos. videos. We, Lee Ice, see, into the mic, please. Again, Ray, you <laughs> had these videos. See what I came up with. <laughs> there it is. That's slower. Yeah. Was that good? Was that proper? Did you like that? That reminds me of one hall in high school. <laughs> Nobody was allowed. Go ahead. <laughs> this is a video of us <laughs> from the future. Uh, Oh, yeah. We gotta see this one again. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who lost it? What the hell? Is that Brusky? Can you put a can you get a belt on the side? Brusky, look at that bitch. <laughs> oh no. That was his ass. Little kid. <laughs> look at the little boy. Already see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Why y'all like little kids getting fucked up? <laughs> Fuck these kids. Wait, really? What, Ray, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Right, this put is a what you ass. Nasty. He put his finger in the dog. And then he tried to wave it in his nose. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. Uh, this is what people do in Mo County. Man. Oh, that is a <laughs> that. Oh, she flipped over. Yeah. Ray had a sick mind this week, man. This was the park by my house. I bet. <laughs> he's Asian, by the way. He, he looks like Roy. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell just How happened? you know he's Asian? That's not. Somebody died. I know. That felt like that. <laughs> No kids again. This is at Ray's bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> she has a bar mitzvah? Yeah, this is Mo County's finest white girls from Rockville. You guys are so silly. What the hell is it? Yeah, I don't understand mm. what I'm looking at. Because, you know why? The selfies are out of control. Here it come. Yeah, I know it's coming. Oh. Here it go. It wasn't until she showed her drawers either. Did she have drawers on? Were those drawers? Oh, it was out of drawers. are very dirty. Damn. <laughs> Bam. Oh, she was That's definitely That's Mo County right there. Russian. Ooh. Oh, For example. I don't know. No, she's, a, she's Asian. She's Asian. How do you do that three times? That must have been like. Right. She first said nope. Bit. That was like a safe fall, though. But like. <laughs> Mo did, y'all, did you even see it? No. You drink oh, Bud Light, right? Her finger's right? young. Oh, Lee Ice, will you pay attention? Her um, finger's young. Lee Ice, pay attention. Oh, you keep missing it. Oh Can you I play miss? one more time, please? Wait, yeah. I missed Wait, how it. someone you tell, so you tell <laughs> somebody to pay attention that they look at you. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's just your baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Four ninety five like Damn. shit. Damn. Why is your windshield cracked though? Oh my god. Right in the middle. 
Hi. You're about to get jacked up. She's yep. iron deficient. Yep. Bang. She's kind of cute. Here it comes. She's cute. Look like Damn! Young, <laughs> look like a young Jane Kennedy. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm, now she got a young concussion. As they say, cram. She looks like she about to cuss that thing. Right in his nuts, watch. Oh! oh. All of y'all jumped. That was funny. <laughs> All of y'all jumped. Hey, <laughs> y'all! You are so Why does he have eight? Yeah, Don't do it, I say. I'm full of frijoles. <laughs> Would I be mad? <laughs> what the hell? What this boy? Would I be wrong to say he couldn't cross the border? Oh what are you God. doing? Scratching his ass? Yeah. <laughs> He's all in there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dumbass. Now, y'all play these games, right? Ain't working out down at the farm. <laughs> I don't know what happened. What kind of such a you Woo! have? Ray. That's what he get for wearing booty shorts. Huh? An escalator. Macy's. Ray, you have a sick oh mind God, and I love lie. it. I tuned out after that kid one <laughs> with the sheet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that All was pretty moco. bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. The dog, the finger, finger up the dog's the butt. The finger up the dog was just nasty. It's crazy. But. All right. Oh my All right, gosh. those are pretty good, right? Thank you. Those, you're welcome. So before we get to the final subject, Lee Ice has an announcement for you people. Lee Ice, whenever you're ready. Are you pregnant? I knew it. He's going to the mic, Lee Ice. I, I have an announcement? Yes. I do? You do. Um, He's going to rehab. What? Uh, <laughs> he put me on the spot. Can somebody shoot him with a dart with is. antibiotics in it? <laughs> I'm sorry, people. I, he Put you on the spot? He put me on the spot. I think I know it. I think I know, but I don't want to be wrong. All right, just just so go. go I'm going to pass it on to you. One to Why would you do that? Just activate. you know what? Play play the video, and it will come back. All right. Lee Ice forgot. I forgot. Practice was. All right, people. Thank you for enduring Lee Ice's commercial and his fumble. I will pick the ball up and run into the end zone. So, 
We've been at the Listen Vision family for a year now, and we've made plenty of friends and family, and we've loved our time here. But for some reason, we got in our head that we wanted to do it on our own, so the team and I have created an online radio station. Yo. Right at Live 365, and it's called uh, Impulse Internet Radio. And we'll be moving our show to there starting in September, brother. I know. It's, it's, it's we'll sad. It's sad. Right, it's sad. The show is it's sad. carrying on. We're moving on. Next no, well, week. I, I will be here still. Yeah. But as far as what but that don't show. mean she up for grabs, brother. No, I see your mind working. <laughs> for, that's, my, that's my day. Hey, 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 that's talking Terps right there. You know, he's got like 17 shows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I right. thought it was an infomercial. one infom- coming right. soon. <laughs> up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I turn around. It's D- District Devers right here. <laughs> like, what? Get this. Paula will not leave the screen. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> see, I ain't doing it too many shows. Plus, stay tuned for talking Terps, man. Come on, please. Oh, stay so. tuned because it's going to be lit. But yes, so next week will be our final show here. Yeah. However, you will catch us at Live 365 backslash Impulse Radio, or you can Impulse? download the Live 365 app. Now, we're going to be expanding a little bit, so not only will you have this show, mm. um, uh, you'll be having individual podcasts from all of the team, mm. plus Lee Ice will be starting his show, The Big Boy Sports Bar, Holla where they talk about sports, have cold drinks, and cuss a lot. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty good. As I'll you see, we're gonna a stripper have stripper show. Yeah, that's coach's show. We ain't gonna, gonna cuss a lot. Measuring stripper nipples Sundays, ten a.m. to four <laughs> <laughs> to eleven fifteen, um, and then they're going to church afterwards. Exactly. Um, but but follow us, follow us, Instagram, um, Facebook, Impulse Radio, Internet Radio, and you'll see all our channel lineups. Plus twenty four seven, we yes. got music playing, all types of music, slow. Fast, Ooh, yeah. hip-hop, old shit, Whatever shit, you go-go. want, we got it. You tune and in if we right. don't have it, give it to us. Oh, now he's talkative. That's crazy. <laughs> now he's talkative. You throw him the ball, he drops it. Shame. And he, you played football when they had a leather helmet, so I'm disappointed in you. That's right. That's why he is the way he is. Yeah, it is what it is. But I had CTE before it came out. I don't care. So let's... <laughs> 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 right, right. It's a living concussion. All right, so these people apparently didn't want another game show. They wanted to continue to argue about Icon versus Icon. Are we That's doing this again? It. Yes, That's we're it. doing it. Put, no, no. I know. Next week we're not doing it. We're uh, doing we a game show next, next week. week yeah. but right. really, we could do all might, types of things next week. Icon versus Icon. Don't you get tired? Lee Ice wanted this. <laughs> and I was like, okay, but he picked some good ones. Did you? And you know what always piggybacks you know from the what? week before. So he okay. had a problem. What led to this was he had a problem with Kevin Hart versus Eddie Murphy. And I do oh, relent. Yeah, I, I do. We should not have yes, compared those two. It should have been Cat Williams versus Kevin Hart. So this okay. week it'll be Richard Pryor versus Eddie Murphy. Oh. There you go. Ouch. There they go. Ouch. So. There they go. <laughs> let's start with the guy that. There went to, they go. Went to nursery school with Richard Pryor. <laughs> there they Lee go. Ice. <laughs> you so, had a wooden horse. With all due respect. And I say it with all due respect to my man, Eddie Murphy. Can you stop banging on the table? Why pick the yeah, oldest it. person? But <laughs> this is no contest. Why no, isn't it? Notice because we can, that is the Lee Ice, man. Lee Ice. Is Lee Ice. he? Take it down, buddy. Right. I'm about if to you that. ask Eddie influencer. Murphy himself, yeah. he's going to come out and say Richard Pryor. Right. Mm-hmm. Which is why Can, that's not fair. It's, yeah, Rick I, it Fox, is very fair. I think this is fair. fair. It's not fair. Because there would be no, a lot of these people wouldn't exist if Eddie it wasn't Murphy, for people above them. Like R- Richard Can I say Fox? something real quick? Eddie if Murphy blows Richard, out Can I say something? Can everybody. I, can I, something. Lee Ice, Lee Ice, can I say something? Go ahead. We're not comparing it in that manner, okay? You got to get that out of your head. Of course, there wouldn't have been one without the other. That's a redundant argument. We're not having that. What we're having is look at his rise, look at his career. Not because one influenced the other. Just let's look at both of their careers and compare. No acting, like- funniness, acting ability, Still. and of course, marketability. I feel I'm like that s- kind of. I'm sorry to cut no, you off. I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand though, because if Richard Pryor didn't have his rise and his career and his no, success, I'm with you, but we don't want to. We don't want right, to focus on that because I'm saying it would always that's go what back. I think kind of helped to make a, a smoother ride for the Eddie Murphys and you know the Chris Ross and people that came up under him. But you, you're younger, so I understand that. But 
Eddie Murphy had just as much okay. to deal with in okay. the 80s. What okay. movie? Okay. As, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he has had as, just as much to deal with in the 80s with racism and trying to break through that comedic wall okay. as Richard Pryor did. It actually was a lot easier, I think, because black was in style. When Richard Pryor came out, you had Motown, you had black exploitation. Okay. You had a lot of avenues for black people, whereas in the 80s, it was white wall. So for you to be a black comedian, you had to be some funny shit. No. Eddie Murphy was some Saturday funny Night shit. Saturday Night Live made it, I mean. And there was I'm a not, lot of black I'm people on Saturday Eddie Night Live. Right? Saturday Night Live made it much easier for Eddie Murphy, okay? Mm -hmm. There was no Saturday Night Live when Richard Pryor came out, okay. all right? Richard now, Pryor what had impact his own show. movie that Eddie Murphy had? Really influenced the world. Harlem Nights. Really? They both were in it. Coming okay. to America. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Harlem Nights. Who else? Best Defense. Who was in that movie? Huh? Red Fox. And who else? Della Reese. Who else? Robin Harris. Who else? Charlie Murphy. Who else? Um, <laughs> um, Tiny. Good. I mean, you you name Layla Rashawn. Black people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the white like guy that played Bugsy. I don't. I'm not. I'm not putting Eddie Murphy down. I think he's. Can I ask you a question? How yes. many hundred million movie dollar movies has Richard Pryor had? Brewster's millions. It's e I mean, you, one flew that's over. That's easy to say because if Richard Pryor stir crazy was in his prime today, he'll blow everybody out. The water. He would be blow, blow all, everybody. He out would the blow water. all the blow, blow out the water. Everybody <laughs> out would, the water. Yeah, he would blow all the Molly. He would blow all the. Well, heat, it all doesn't the matter. Ants, all the wax. Yeah. Talking turfs will be running from him, yep. okay? Because he'd be smoking up all the shit. That's right. Eddie, Eddie Murphy wasn't on none of that shit. He no, had a he's J. just on trannies. He had a tray. Hey, they both were on trannies. Trannies don't, you know, yeah, burn you your nose hole out. You trannies don't make that. you burn yourself up. But dog, like I said, I'm not, I'm not down with Eddie Mur Murphy. Eddie. What's his name? Eddie Murray. It's Butterfee. Eddie, Eddie Murray. Murray. It's Butterfee. I'm not down him, but that's that's Eddie Murray is a white rock you, singer. Man. Richard Pryor, I mean, he is comedy. Okay, so Eddie looked Especially up to him. Especially black comedy. Eddie did look up to Richard Pryor, but if you want to compare them, like, compare them. Career versus career. Versus career versus career, I think they are equally tied. What nope. movie? Because they both went into movie? I got, kids' movies. Okay. I'm not to look this up. Yeah, what look it up. They right. both went into kids' movies. Because your grandparents listened to these things and saw them. Yeah, he did the he toy. Did question that, too. What Those movie, were all quirky movies. Uh -huh, I'm just going to name two movies. movies. What movie had the impact? What movie that Eddie Vampire Murphy Vampire in made? Brooklyn. No, no, no. What movie had the impact? Eddie Murphy movie had the impact. That Richard, the two Richard Pryor movies. Grease Meet Lightning, Dave. Grease Lightning. Uh -huh. And Lady Sings the Blues. Meet Dave and The Coming Adventures of Pluto Nash. Oh. Coming to America. That was, that was a great movie. It was Mr. a great Church. comedy movie. But I'm talking about as far as black history impact. Norbit. Coming to America. Yeah, I would say Coming to America. Life. Norbit. Now, you got it. You, life. Life. And you got it. Life. Yes. That's a very underrated movie. Thank you. Metro. <laughs> yes. Showtime with Robert De Niro. Everything Eddie did, Richard did before. Bowfinger. <laughs> Bowfinger is probably <laughs> shit. <laughs> But he also had Nutty Professor. Yes. Everything. He also had Beverly yeah. Hills Cop. He also Everything had The Golden Child. Eddie. Okay. Uh, don't, don't he had say all of the that. Golden Child. He had Trading Places. Don't say The Golden okay. Child. Okay. Why don't, don't say The Golden Child? Golden Child was funny as hell. That movie sucks. He asked the kid, suck. did you take a Valium? Come on. That was funny as hell. Movie I want the knife. Make sure you wipe that booger off or freeze okay, up and so cut somebody. Got? Who you got in the icon versus They're icon? equal. I, I, I got, I, I'm telling you, honestly, you, I would. You I would, Eddie? Eddie would creep forward, and here's why. Richard's career was cut short by him, not by anything else, by 12 keys of coke up each nostril. At okay? what age? He was Let's, no, 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 no. Let's <laughs> talk about When was his that, career cut short? He did that to himself. Okay, but when? So Eddie had enough, like you said, Eddie only indulged in transsexuals allegedly. Okay? <laughs> that didn't stop him from proceeding with his career and becoming an excellent actor. When you watch Richard Pryor act, you know that's Richard Pryor. You're watching Richard Pryor. When you watch Eddie, like Eddie Kevin makes Hart. you forget that that's Eddie. Did you see you Grease really Lightning? believe that's Nor Norbert. Did you see Grease Lightning? Can you listen to what I'm saying before instead of just waiting to talk? Because that's why you miss most of the points. That's all I'm saying. He, when you look at Norbert, you don't think that's Damn. Eddie Murphy. That's Norbert. All the characters. Okay? I understand you have an affinity to Richard Pryor because you were he was more your era than Eddie. Okay? No. I, I get that. But you have to give Eddie his props, man. And his progression... 
and the, I'm just not the pure money making ability. I'm giving Eddie all his props. It's just a bad comparison to him. I mean, you can't compare him to Rich. This is your comparison, bad, man. Eddie blows out everybody except for him and maybe one more comedian. Who's the other comedian? Paul Red Mooney. Fox. Oh Paul. hell no. Paul, Paul Mooney got Mooney bad credit. Is shit. Come on. No, Paul, Paul Mooney's Mo- funny, but he's he doesn't have the marketability to get to anywhere. I wonder why. Yeah. Huh? He, I he's wonder gay. why. No. You ever heard of the Jeffersons? No. Good times? No. Richard Pryor? I, I read it. None, in none a, of that, in right? You never book. heard of none of that shit, right? Paul Mooney wrote for them. That's great. I, who who wrote the Thriller why. album? I wonder why. What about Marcy Carcy? You wouldn't have had Bill Cosby, none of that without her. So there's always somebody behind somebody. Doesn't mean they're going to get like the credit. Like I said, Eddie blows everybody out okay, let's, let's, stuff Okay, him. as we see, Lee Ice, again, once again, okay. is, is, so you're picking, is, is you're practicing picking Eddie. elder law. Coach, that's, who that's, you picking? That's his, that's his opinion. I'd say Coach. they're equal. He they're says equal. equal. Okay. See, I would say. Ray says, Ed, I don't know who Eddie, that is. No, I would say Eddie Murphy to me for like my time and what Ray, I know coming she's with up. me. Ray, coming thank up you. and what I will always remember and you know Coach is walking the line first. right and you are going with the old crowd that's cool let's go to the next like one said, these I'm are both equally Eddie. old I love reasons, Eddie Murphy, I'm with you I'm with you it's, it's, I think this comes down to a fact of who you like and that's what it boils down to I like them both you connect with one person more I connect with you both like. of them yeah. You, I think you can't on this one. You can't get past the fact that Richard Pryor paved That's the way right. for comedy as we right. know it. And right. I think we'll never be able to That's really which discuss black comedy, right? Because which is fine. Icon versus icon, kind of, you know, support. That's that. really what it's about. Yeah, it's really what it's about. So I, I understand. So that. the next one is going to be a little funner. Fresh Prince versus Martin. Martin, go, Martin. I feel. I mean, I, I don't. I, I would say Martin. Even though Fresh Prince was like the first thing I really was onto, but Martin. I'm very happy this, to be here. I could watch Martin till this day and still feel like that relationship. Even though because I'm I'm older now, Fresh uh-huh. Prince definitely set like a lot of ground rules. You catch and, a lot of Martin shit now yeah. that you didn't catch back in the day. Right, right. and that's because I'm older. Right. So it like you know it de- it's not outdated or anything. Yeah. It's Damn, still relevant, Gina. but. But Fresh Prince, like, you know, I still think about, like, the little lessons and stuff right. that I remember, you know, like, seeing what they went through, like, real life things. It's like, you know, somebody in that age group, like, oh, okay, I, I get that. Right. Yeah. Or I understand, like, you know, this fundamental values. Right. Martin, it's not, it's not, it is the same, actually. Martin don't have no values. No, Martin got some values. You learn how to grow up a little bit, you know. You learn how to grow up a little bit, but Fresh Prince definitely Fresh Prince was more of a sitcom. Martin was more of cutting edge. Martin said and did a lot of shit that wasn't done on TV up to that point. He came out with the Living Colors and the Married with Children's and those shows that really pushed the envelope about comedy where Fresh Prince operated within that line right. of the goody popcorn white right. people can watch you and all that so like if you did Fresh Prince versus um, uh, the Cosby show or something well, That's no. the, I don't think I think this is the one you do because they were in the same they both time. rose at okay. the same time and they rose and there was this is they a what I don't even know he said he said, rose. Booth. He said booth <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, they were in the same to talk. Time, It's okay. <laughs> and and they they did kind of compete with each other, but Martin was more of an adult show. Martin was Fresh 100% Prince was an adult made show. for kids See, and everybody. I else, guess so. what I would have maybe thought was like Fresh Prince versus Cosby, Martin versus uh, Living Single. No. 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 What do they do on Living Single? They ain't talk about nothing. Single. I mean, it's no. it's it's not too it's far off. Kind of no. Girl. What Tommy versus Overton? Because they're both bald. <laughs> I don't understand it. Keep your head up. What? You know, Keep your head up. What? I guess Sinclair is dumb and Cole is dumb. <laughs> they had a dumb baby. Um, <laughs> Max versus. You're comparing them to each other. I'm comparing the shows to each other. You can't compare them. So, like, Martin was a. Like, you stayed home for a Martin. Comedy. I mean, you Living stayed Single. Home. Martin was God, coming home. Living Single was so you said. Women that. were staying home for Living Single. Yes, I remember Men were out my mother watching it Martin. up at night. My dad would watch it too with her. And I remember. Yeah, because he I was remember. trying to get with your mother. Okay, well, they were together. They are together. <laughs> Shout out to love. <laughs> you know, I, I remember that. And then they'd watch Jerry Springer afterwards. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Coach. I actually vividly remember those days. Coach. Which one? I'm going to have to go with Martin, too. Martin. It's still relevant till this but day. Fresh Prince, I mean, they both. They got their Why Well, you don't want me, man. Exactly. Fresh Prince gave you way, I mean... Martin was pure comedy. It was all slapstick. It was made to have you bust out Martin, laughing. Martin had more co co actors that helped him 
Like nah, I, I, I disagree. Will Smith had Will had Carlton. Martin did Carlton. more on his own. But Martin. I mean, Will Smith had Carlton. He had you know you, Uncle Phil. He had Jeffrey. Jeffrey would always say something smart. I got my hand. But him out. and Pam used to go back to back to back. So they they pulled a Martin lot of that. Martin had himself. Right. He had Jerome. He had Otis. That's why I was saying Martin. And Otis' character was based on Lee Ice. And that was the other thing. So Lee Ice, now that we're getting on your character, what you going to do there, boy? You going down, boy? I'm going, I'm going to shock going you. Going down, with boy? I am really going to shock you with this one. James I'm going to Evans. Go with the Big Fresh shot. Prince. I, I can see why you would. I'm going to go. Why? Because Hillary was light skinned? <laughs> Hillary was no, bad. Hillary. Hillary, I didn't know Hillary was Hillary bad until she was in bad. Major Pain. She was I was like, bad. wow, okay. But I'm going to go with the Fresh Prince. Martin was pure. Straight comedy from the fifth floor. I mean, mm-hmm. brother man from the fifth floor, right? <laughs> Shanae, my mama's biscuits, my mama, mama, you know, yeah, my I mama bird. That episode, y'all. But the fresh, Wait, you hated Prince, the mama bird. I, ha- fresh, yeah, I hated that episode. How you hated the mama bird episode. Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince, Fresh Prince, because you had a strong father figure in the household. John, what's his name? John May Avery. Is that his name? Whatever he was, the one that was hidden. He didn't want to tell everybody he was. His dead. character doesn't is doesn't get enough respect because he, he went deserved. down to the pool hall and won Will's money it's back. So I'm just funny! Saying, yeah. I, I'm thinking about all the episodes I the remember. Pool hall. Because yeah, were, every time when he, every now and then yeah. they have a, a real serious yeah he did used to throw the shit out. Of <laughs> Jazzy he Jeff. represented Martin didn't have one real they never, episode. They never had. Now a that you think episode. about it. Except that's the one where it was Biggie pure was comedy. On, but, no. Except for when they got married. That's, true. that's what I'm saying. The Fresh Prince, everything was the last. And even that was like, funny. Martin had to have his last boogie. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it one more time. You know, okay, you Don't you know no nah. good? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Plus, he was raping Gina on his lap. But I think that was just they was doing it, and then Dwayne Martin came, and he was a hater, and that's what did it. Yeah, but I'm no, a, you're I'm right. You, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince what, had one to grow on. They had real subjects. They yeah. just tackled real life matters, and Martin just talked about. Bullshit. So, yeah, yeah. Remember when he thought Gina was cheating with the Spanish dudes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you and Tony Montana. Yeah, I think I think um they both had big cultural and relevance. And plus, the most important thing. All right. We never knew where Tommy worked at. Man. Nah. Yeah, you didn't know where Tommy worked. We at. never Weren't knew like where did Tommy work. No, he didn't have a job. Tommy had no job. Nobody knew. Yeah, Tommy ain't had no job. Ne- nobody. If was he a drug yeah. dealer? Tommy had to be a drug dealer. <laughs> he was the weed man. No, he sold bootleg. DV- he bought. He sold bootleg VHS tapes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We had to leave that one. I'm gonna have to let y'all fly with that one. Let's go on to the next one. Debo versus Damon. <laughs> Debo from Friday one and two versus Damon from Friday after next. Who wins in a battle? Debo. Thank you. Even Moco. Debo. Know that. Debo. Please. Even Mo. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna say that. You say Debo, you say Debo. Audience, what do y'all say? I say Damon. Thank you. For real? I guess because like I know we, we see his character Debo. in real life. He fought Hulk Hogan, so let's let's let, let, let's break down the particulars, okay? Debo is big and slow, like Lee Ice. He got a dead eye. <laughs> He'll never see eye to eye, so you <laughs> okay, so you got all of that. Again, draws dirty. Okay. He was a dirty dude. He was very slow. He was very, very slow. And Ice Cube being four foot eleven beat him. Okay? Now let's look at Damon. That one time. Homosexual. <laughs> repressed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Working out all day long. Okay. Mm-hmm. He chased pop, Cat Williams pop. down. Chase with a little bit of channel mouse. rocks around his balls. He chased them down. Oh, you no. know what this is? He was aggressive. The only one I would throw that in, it throw into that battle is Chris's character from a lottery ticket. Remember this little dude that was bullying Bow Wow? Yeah. Yeah, he was he was hey. Yeah. hey. He'd have got my money. Here you go, man. Here you go. I don't even want no trouble, man. Debo would mess this. How? I don't even know this dude's name, man, until you said it. Damon. Man, no, did, sir. Did y'all really know his oh, name? No, sir. It's on his chest. <laughs> no, sir. It's right on his chest. They still didn't know his name. Come on, be, be Everybody, serious. Be serious. Everybody knows Debo. If we're going to have a real conversation I actually would love to about hypothetical characters. Everybody knows Debo. Nobody ever said, I'm going to Damon your chain. No, Thank no one. Nobody ever said But what? as soon as you say Damon from. 
Nah. What they you said, mean? People use Debo all the time. Like you just got Debo. Okay, hold on a second, okay, PJ. Exactly. No, okay, hold on. Okay, okay, right. But th- because Damon didn't do anything of co- Debo's, De- Debo taking Reg chain was like a cultural relevance because <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. Everybody was saying that, right. so he's synonymous with he, that. But Damon, as soon icon. as you say Friday after next, yeah, you yeah, that no. next, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, you talking Him? about Cat Williams? When he nah. seen Cat Williams, and he was like. That nigga's magically you delicious. You talking about Pinky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you talking about Pinky. What about, what about who? Baby D. Baby D. Oh, yeah. Baby, that's a good one. Now, that that's that's enough right there to be like, hold up. Wait. Now, hold on. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> baby, baby D would have put up a, a bigger baby. fight than Damon. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Man, get out of here, man. <laughs> she knew when I'm all picking, the 2,000 I'm cakes were coming baby out. baby D over Damon. No, sir. The no, ones sir. with the glitter. <laughs> Baby D would have bent Damon the over. The new snack cakes. <laughs> mm. 2,000 snakes. 2,000 snakes? You know what I'm saying? 2,000 snacks. Okay. The year 2000, they bite them. They shoot glitter in your mouth and shit. Goo. Sell dope. <laughs> Do hair and watch kids at the same house. At the same house. Here's a cookie for you. Mm. <laughs> you ain't got no wrapper on it. You can get to it quicker. Now nah, I don't know. Now nah, yeah, she's a woman. Come on now. Come on. Let's be honest. Is she? What is that? No, I mean she. She's. She's. She, a, she was a woman. You told me you would smash the lady of rage. I would. You would smash her from Steve Harvey's show. With a baseball show. bat. You smash her. <laughs> you smash her. I got to put my Tim's on. She's fat at the end of the day. <laughs> I had to have you my Tim's on. Just grab an Afro puff. Still feel kind of manly yeah. and like mas- <laughs> I got to have my Tim's on, sweatpants, hat backwards. In a in a in a white beard. Y'all whole, y'all can wear the same clothes. Yeah. That that. She's your size. She so is. Your wardrobe doubles. Hey. She got that fly West Coast shit. Yeah, and Nietzsche's. All that, yeah. <laughs> Valleys. Some All the khakis you want. Come on. But let's let's be serious though. Damon is, was an drones. animal. Was an animal. Really? He was an animal. Cat Williams had to put channel locks on his balls to slow him down. That was it. It was crazy. Debo, or whatever. Yeah, man. I still say, look at Debo. He already looking like what's that? D- you see what Debo? He, no, okay, what is he look? No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. What is he looking at? Do you know? I don't know. Is he looking at you? Is he looking at me? That's messed look up. Look at the top. Man. Look, do the bottom one, PJ. Do the bottom. <laughs> That's look at messed David. up. Man. I love how one's Damon looking down, the other one's looking done. up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Damon gonna rape him. Damon when he wants a man. Debo oh, wants a woman. Debo got beat by a dog. Well, don't forget that. <laughs> A high dog. <laughs> dog was high shit. Look at him. What are you looking at, huh? Huh? Eileen. Would you say that to him? <laughs> say that to his yeah, face. Say that to him because he wouldn't know where it came serious. from. Look at that. <laughs> Come on now. Damon to beat his ass. We're going to have to put a pin in this one. Damon going to beat his ass. So let's go to the last Who one. Who did this the coach say? Fun. Coach, who you had? Damon. Wolverine. Debo. Thank you. Wolverine versus Freddy Krueger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. wow. Wow, y'all got aggressive real quick here. Like, wow. A lot of you Everybody niggas play with toys and read comic little books. Little <laughs> Freddy <laughs> right. effing Kruger. Another old icon. No, you know icon. why? Because he's going to fuck you up in Wait, life. He's mind, and right? he's going to fuck you up in your mind. dream. Nah, yeah. If he that, don't get you that, alive, he's going to get you when you go to sleep. Freddy. So, so let's 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 look at this. Look at Freddy Krueger would get you in your dreams, which he controlled the dreams. How did that work which, for Jason? Which he would get anything he wants in his dreams, antimanium, and, and cut he would call a lot of people head. bitches. He did say a lot of bitches. He called a lot of bitches bitches. So he gets he gets he gets credit for that. He called a lot of Who? hoes bitches. Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Everybody was a bitch. Yeah. Him and What's my sure. favorite bitch. word? Bitch. <laughs> so, I know he was Break it down, Freddy. coach. Break it down. Because you know the power, you know there's similar power. So Freddy Krueger's on a supernatural level. He comes in your dreams. He can materialize in Anything. the present. Wolverine is basically like immortal. Mess you up. He has a healing factor. So they're 50. He, to yeah. be, so and they're he's 50 huge active. Yeah. So they're 50-50. No. If one gets you in your sleep and can like mess you up mentally and the other one just doesn't die, then where's the, the common ground? In the long <laughs> run, Freddy Krueger has him because Wolverine died in his last movie. There you go. So 
Freddy Krueger wins that battle. You ain't had to bring up Logan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> he did want to die, yeah, he, but so, he still died. Freddy Krueger is still going to come into somebody's dream. All you got to do is keep thinking about that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep tonight. Division, go to sleep tonight. Freddy Krueger needs lotion. Even when Jason beat him, Freddy was still smiling. It now, hold on. That lake. Now, how do we know Hollywood hasn't sold us a bill of goods? How do we know Fre Freddy Krueger just don't have eczema? <laughs> Alopecia. <laughs> how do we know that? We, you, you're believing that he's just... That I don't know that. so painful to think about. He needs some Vaseline. Yeah, Wolverine has not come back. He did. You ain't lying. That'll, <laughs> you ain't lying. That would be an interesting fight, Yo, though. Okay, can he not zoom in after he said that? <laughs> if he had money, he'd be like, he's cute. <laughs> That's kind he of disgusting. He is cute. Hell yeah. yeah. Freddie yeah, had good hair. You look like yeah. Lee Ice. Cute does testicles. not make you easy that, on the eyes. That one hair. I mean, money is, doesn't make you easy. You ain't got to look at him all the testicles, time. testicles, young. Damn. Except Lee Ice. Derek said his face looked like a balls. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead, coach. <laughs> <laughs> like a balls, not shiny balls. Like that was these, interesting though. That y'all had some. That, some nice this insight. was a better go round. I'll yeah. give you that. that was well, Lee Ice surprisingly held himself together. So I am ecstatic. He's drinking Gatorade tonight. That's not Gatorade. <laughs> that's not and Gatorade. That's that's what are they putting those bags? That's IV water. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's my man, though. That's my man. He's all my Saline. People. He's drinking saline. Yes, yes. So make sure y'all say saline. <laughs> lean. <laughs> that's what it is, man. Lean. That. Yeah. That's what it's it ends no up being. No in shit. his lean. Hey, but we'll be back next week. Next week yeah. will be the final show, people. Oh, man. So We're going to have a ball. One more Snapchat, Tune the Game in. Plan Podcast. Yes, please Instagram, hit us. the Game We're Plan not call. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. Black. <laughs> Impulse Radio. I don't see Impulse it. Internet go. Radio at Facebook. There I go, there I go, Impulse there underscore I go. underscore <laughs> IR at Instagram. You are the one and Impulse Radio at the Twitter. Show that takes that. my control. You can tune in and not hear that song Lee Ice is singing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be something from so this right century. Okay. Nothing that was played on a record player with a big ass horn. Okay. Yeah, yes. the ham radio. With static this thing in it. Said, Is anybody there? Is anybody there? <laughs> is anybody there? The Germans are taking over, please. <laughs> Damn, Lee Ice. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> yes, but you can uh, actually tune in now at A Live 365. At Live 365. At 33. <laughs> backslash <laughs> Impulse Radio. Or you can download the Eight Live track. 365 <laughs> app. Real to real. Here. Coach making jokes from six minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> right. He has to rest. He has to get it out. For. He has to get it out. Of course, we'll be on YouTube in 20 minutes because PJ is hurrying us along. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're putting you out there. Nah, but stay tuned for, the, for Talking Drip. Uh -oh. tell you Talk what's Drip cool. Live. We got to get They'll it probably right. probably talk about all the clothes we had on, especially Lee Ice's shirt. What's wrong with my shirt? It looked it's like a green blue. screen. Stay tuned to find <laughs> out. It looked like a green screen. Hey. Tuesday, 7 to 8 p.m. Tell them what to do. Fuck with us. Hey. Bye.